Okay, I'm going to be sure to pull this back uh, before the uh, match gets going uh, so that we have definitely time to, to talk about it and get into it. Uh, welcome back from the break. Uh, I'm Rex the Dino, uh, casting here, brand new Belt University. Uh, in the second week of NACC preseason matches, uh, this is specifically the Overwatch Blue team. Um, uh, we just had a match against Aquinas College. Uh, unfortunately, a loss 0-3. Uh, um, definitely not a bad series, though. Uh, definitely some highlights there to pull out uh, as far as that goes. Uh, but now we're headed into uh, this round, which will be against uh, Southern New Hampshire University. Uh, the penmen of Southern New Hampshire University uh, against your Butler University Bulldogs. Uh, the setup for this match is going to be very, very similar to last time. Uh, still, we're going to play three maps. Uh, still best of three. Um, and uh, this is the last match of the preseason next week when we come to you. Uh, I won't be here, but that's a separate thing. Um, uh, but next week when we come to you, we will be um, into the real season. Uh, things will matter and a lot of fun will be had. Um, of that you can be sure um, but until then uh, we're getting ready for this match um, we look at the map map set for this series it's going to be exactly the same as the one we just saw uh, starting with Oasis as a control map uh, following up with uh, Numbani uh, in the hybrid map category and then Gibraltar as an escort map uh, there at the end of the series um, the players are in their are in their custom game. Uh, it's just a matter of waiting to see exactly when we're going to get started. Um, uh, but until then, uh, it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be very good. Um, it's good to be back in the swing of things uh, here with Esports Central University um, and uh, back into casting. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this, uh, which is a surprise to. Uh, exactly zero of the two people watching right now, uh, one of whom I think is me. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a good series. Uh, like I said, we're just hanging out for a second uh, until we jump into the series. We're going to be jumping right into uh, control map on Oasis. Uh, last we saw, uh, lots of cool stuff from Butler uh, in, the, in the last series. Lots of the. Um, uh, Winston Diva Dive, uh, throwing a little bit of Zarya in there as necessary, uh, particularly Shadow Edge on the Genji uh, was a highlight. So we'll have to see uh, how and to what extent he's able to match that performance as we move into this second series. Um, uh, hopefully good stuff will result. Uh, I have no, no doubts about that. Um, uh, again, we're just hanging out and waiting for, uh, waiting for the series to start. Appreciate the deference I'm being shown in uh, <laughs> game chat as they get stuff set up uh, by the other team asking for for uh, casting information, but um, <laughs> no, we're, <laughs> we're just waiting on the series to start. I'm not sure what the hang-up is exactly, um, 
the uh, Bell University Overwatch team is not an imposter. That much we know for sure. I probably shouldn't have chat just open. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, it's, uh, I, I, I'm not sure how um, SNHU has been doing in the past, um, over the, the last week um, uh, of preseason competition and now uh, their first match tonight. Um, I assume they're probably in a similar position as Butler, though, uh, in terms of you know matching teams up, uh, trying to get them qualified the way they needed to be. Um, well, okay, looks like we're <laughs> good to go here. Jumping into the game, it's happening. Back into Oasis. You know this. You know the drill. It's happening again. Starting Oasis University. Maybe we'll see the third point this time. Hard to say. Let's go. <laughs> We got Butler University in blue on the left, and the SNHU Penman on the right. Um, we're playing the series; it's going to be great. Uh, yeah, they don't pay me nearly enough for what I'm doing. <laughs> That's not true. Ready for battle. And it looks like. Uh, again, Butler opting into the uh, Reinhardt Diva kind of compositions uh, with the Lucio and the May. Uh, I'd love to see that May, uh, potentially against the Reinhardt uh, from the opponent, potentially against uh, some other kind of tank line. It's hard to say, uh, but yeah, that's that's going to be an interesting element for sure as we get going. Uh, so they will have it will again with the uh, Reaper and the May. Um, and in fact, Reaper on both sides, interestingly enough, with the right hand of Diva, a very similar combination as the fight to appear right at the very beginning of the room, but ends up much better wall from Shadow Edge on the main. Uh, <laughs> able to uh, you know, trade nothing but more Kali Duel, but at the same time, the right hand is definitely low here to start the series, uh, and that's a great position for Rebel to be in. The fight is not lost, or the fight is not over though, but uh, with all these skills, that's definitely the way to, the way to be. Bell is going to take the first cap. Um, unfortunately, this may, may, this may might end up the dagger. It's hard to say. Hopefully, uh, Butler is too overzealous with everything. Uh, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the kind of dagger kills you want uh, as this series will continue. Um, Butler playing on the front foot here, um, trying to defend aggressively, but uh, without... Uh, you know, without... Um, uh, giving their hand away, so to speak. Uh, a couple of big ultimates coming up, including the Death Walls and including the Earth Shatter. Uh, definitely interested to see how that goes. Uh, the wall comes out from both sides. Oh, and the window! <laughs> the competing window is actually blocking them both. Uh, that's a really aggressive, uh, uh, ambitious uh, Earth Shatter. I think that would call it from depression. But actually able to not, uh, you know, not, not too bad, able to really come up with some good stuff. Uh, Armor on the walls just as much as this thing you is. Uh, <laughs> but again, hanging on to things so far, and quickly the DVD mech there, Reinhardt traded, and actually just the aggression uh, here from as an issue is one end of the day. Um, as I, I now Butler, for the name of the game here, is just a skull, take up as much control point as they possibly can, despite having lost the fight, um, and then do something. I'd love to see actually try to step up here, um, but it looks like the point has you now flipped. Butler building up 61% of 100 in this first round. So we're looking at a self-destruct uh, and a blizzard uh, coming up to Chadwick. I don't remember if he's used to that at all yet this series, but uh, that could be a very uh, fight-defining uh, ultimate here. Let's see how that goes. Uh, but he's uh, still on the other side of the team. The, uh, <laughs> the uh, death loss is not able to find the table. There's a little bit of a team that he's up to. At least the other one turns out normally. <laughs> Depression right here probably super low, and here comes Shadow on the right, trying to take out the right hand. Uh, right is not able to survive this whole thing, and in fact, there's the uh, opposing group. Uh, I think the bubble is amazing. I've never seen that. Uh, that would be important. Uh, but at the same time, uh, there's the Sunbury uh, coming out from both sides. It's, it's going to be a really long, drawn out fight. Self destruct going everywhere. It's just nuts. Uh, <laughs> Nobody really um, coming up with an advantage here, but except for the shadow from the first that looks like got that on the camera. That was a real nice play combo with the Death Blossom, and that's going to be the cap for Butler. That's how you win that fight. Uh, props, props to the ultimate combination there, and that's going to be the that's going to be the cap here. A couple, a couple short kills, 
um, uh, only a couple percentage points ahead uh, where SNHU when the point was flipped. Now Bubba's going to see if they can hang on to this until the end of the round. We will see. Okay, the defense coming through. Looks like the swap to Soldier. Uh, that's going to be an interesting, <laughs> interesting change. See how much, if anything, that really matters. Oh, that's nice little well just to stall there as far back goes. Oh, and the, <laughs> the Earth Shatter big. Uh, uh, aided by aided by the uh, you know the assistance of the uh, uh, Maywall there from Pepto. Uh, they didn't really go back and forth, but uh, that Soldier 76 was putting in work there on the high ground. Jumps down. Uh, uh, but the soldier did jump down, uh, and uh, despite Butler making it all in 99%, we paid overtime. Um, SNHU is definitely going to be the point here. Trade it back, try to come up with 99 of their own, get us to the end of this series. Amplification matrix ready. Prepare to fire. Prepare to fire. So again, we got the butler on the approach here. Uh, come in, no real offense. Uh, we got the, uh, at least immediately right now, but we got the swim truck coming. Uh, definitely want to see if he's big. I definitely want to watch this uh, lizard actually. Comes, but not from the red team. That's not what I was envisioning. Freezing um, up several of the players here from butler trading out. Uh, but unfortunately, it's just Rhino on the Reinhardt that, that has the last lap as far as that goes. The, the Maple Blizzard comes out and she's actually killed immediately, but the Blizzard is still good. Watch the self destruct Blitters is not going to make that through. <laughs> the Shatter comes up for the pressure, but it, it, it trades it with his life. It's a really a contested fight here at 99.99%. <laughs> Overtime back and forth. A couple kills there for the Soldier 76. That's been a, definitely a, a valuable pick. Now, uh, hearing some of the special moments of Trevor Cash and Lucy Fall. It's just the Tracer left. It's just the Moira left after that. Uh, not able to touch. 199. As close as we can go there on Oasis University. So now moving on to the next point. And it's going to be all somewhere else we've also been. Uh, it's going to be Oasis Gardens. Uh, we've seen it before in the last series. Um, and again, it's Butler looking for the win on this round uh, in order to <laughs> stay alive in this map. Uh, hopefully, I'll start off, start off this one on, uh, start off this series here against SNHU on a good note. Uh, ooh, I am, I am seeing interesting things in the composition, and the interesting thing I'm seeing is the far from Shadow Edge. I've loved his projectile play. I am biased because I like playing projectile heroes, but um, <laughs> this just could be very devastating if, if uh, SNH is not expecting it. Um, but again, with, with the uh, Soldier 76 and Presnick, it's definitely going to be a big DPS narrative to watch this round. Points not quite unlocked, but it will be very, very soon. Uh, I think SNHU is building up uh, a lot of a lot of uh, physical presence there on the point, and in fact, the Reinhardt slept. That's not what Butler was looking for. Uh, yeah, that's can result in the first slip going to SNHU, but uh, regardless, this fight still hasn't properly begun yet. See how this ball goes. Uh, that uh, pressure on the Reinhardt is definitely going to be quickly uh, going down uh, after, after the mortality field. And uh, well, you know, it's just to trade back and forth a little bit uh, here in the, the mid fight, but uh, I anticipate, um, the, you know, at least for now, I think you know, hold on to the point that they have. Um, <laughs> as I as I pop it up as I pop up to the far right, he's taken out, um, and that's going to be that first fight done. Uh, all the way up to 30% uh, just from that really early take from SNHU, issue. Uh, as Butler comes out with some uh, pretty significant changes here. Uh, the composition going uh, over to the Winston from Reinhardt onto the Genji from the Farah and playing the great honor that we've seen so much of from the night. Uh, see <laughs> how the Winston versus Winston match up goes. I, I definitely like uh, the rest of the chances as far as that goes. Uh, it's, 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 it's just a matter of uh, uh, trying to make that consistent. But unfortunately, a pull from uh, from the red tracer is going to make that pretty difficult and now the, the tensor move from both sides uh, will collapse on Butler. Uh, the the very end. We will not escape. No, we will not. And we got to go. Uh, 
up to 80% now for SNHU. Um, for public six it? cap. Uh, I definitely want to see a, a really good, um, uh, <laughs> really good decisive fight here, regardless of the, of the outcome. I think that's what we want to see. Um, <laughs> they're going to be able to build up some ultimates here in the meantime. Kind of got to be able to use effective way to um, And starting with the uh, uh, attack by the guys that can help you not what I was thinking of. Uh, <laughs> taken out uh, by the. Uh, uh, he was uh, <laughs> Going back and forth. The grab as well used uh, by SHU. And Butler may actually be pulling this out. Um, they have to deal with the effects of the uh, sound barrier, and that's, I think that may have been uh, the, the factor that really makes the difference here. As if you hold on to the thing, it should be going uh, back and forth, and time cooks down. Russian can't quite touch the point at the end, uh, and that's going to be uh, the map. Uh, there for SNHU. Two zero, uh, super close the first time. Um, I believe it was hundred to zero the second time. But we do get the play of the game. Let's watch it. Big shatters for days. They make you smile. They make you laugh. And you know, sometimes that's what you need: a little smile, a little laugh. <laughs> at the end of a map like that. I don't know what I'm saying, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's good stuff. Our second map, uh, just like the first series, we're going to be headed to Nimani. Um, as uh, SNHU takes the early lead, um, we're going to see uh, whether they swap sides before I change the scores on this overlay. Um, uh, but, but yeah, not a bad start. I think... Um, that's uh, uh, first map prediction. Looks like we're going to see a couple substitutions here uh, for SNHU before we go into map two. Uh, Butler staying with their with their six uh, seems to be pretty consistent, um, which is definitely not a bad thing as far as that goes. Uh, but yeah, definitely quite a map <laughs> as far as that goes. Uh, now that we want to see that go, but uh, again, if we can keep <laughs> keep things as engaging as that uh, university round was, as we move into new body and beyond, which it looks like we're doing, um, that is going to be um, the way to proceed as we go. So here we're into, we're into new body now. It's one to zero SNHU, you, but this series has only just begun. We really built the university on the defense here. Uh, second verse, same as the first, as far as how this map is played and everything. Ready for battle. Practicing my cinematic camera work. If I want to get a job as an hour observer. Attackers incoming in I'm just having fun. Seconds. It's fine. No, they can me. <laughs> we were looking again, uh, the Echo Genji um, <laughs> from Twinton Shadow Edge. Um, like, just like we saw against the plants, I think that's definitely not a bad way to go. Um, and, and definitely saw some success, I think, particularly on this map uh, in the last series. I think it was uh, the closest of. Uh, out of the three that we saw. Um, it's definitely a, a different composition they're running into though. With the far, uh, the and the so that's gonna be an interesting little combination there as we swap over to Pepto and the far. Is really gonna be a, <laughs> a excuse me, a question of how he's gonna be able to get control. Uh, up on top, but uh, uh, the answer, at least at this point, maybe not much. Uh, <laughs> I see Shadow Edge on the Genji, trying to knock him into a place where his trajectory is more consistent. There, there's the kill after the wall climb. <laughs> a couple um, really nice kills here from, from SNHU as they're trying to clear this high ground out, uh, but now that they have the points, uh, can be game to, to be unlocked. 
Uh, I don't know if I was going to try to go for this. It looks like probably not. Uh, I think I'll go and touch again, but yeah. Uh, that may have been just the of Blue Mama, I don't know. Excuse me, a lot of the team is not alive uh, to try to go for that, but uh, this is uh, a uh, clutch rock day from our team guard go. Yeah, I'm preventing the touching anyway. So from Butler, we've got the mana boost almost here, uh, almost at 90%. Uh, so not quite there on the Genji, but uh, I don't know. We may um, <laughs> end up using that mana on a tank, um, or maybe you know, one tank or the other. Um, save the rest for later, we'll have to see. Um, but in fact, it's about like approach here, trying to stay indoors, trying to avoid some of the splash damage that uh, uh, Petra Star can really cause, because uh, it's got the potential to really wreck, really wreck the stuff, but uh, the pressure not able to be as aggressive as you like, because he's already been built on by Rhino and Wrecking Ball. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, on this thing, there's the, there's the barrage. Uh, I didn't quite catch it in time, but it Picking up the Mecha Zoo on that as well as Frank on the Cowboy. And that's uh, gonna be that fight, and that's the point there. Uh, Zoo Mama jumps off the edge, try to get the Mecha back as quickly as possible. Um, and now it's just a question to see if uh, Trevor Cash can get out. <laughs> We're avoiding the fire there. He's got a shield, he's pretty okay. But, uh, uh, um, uh, SAG is being uh, deliberate. Uh, being aggressive, pushing through, again, clearing out the space um, in which they can fly the far out get tested, in which they can try to use the uh, 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 right Ooh, and that's going to be the big one. Uh, that <laughs> could have been the far mercy, ended up being a couple of other trader right instead. Different heroes. Uh, but we're we'll looking for a, a chance to regroup and try to try to make a stand here. But that's going to be. Uh, Potentially just the job of Shadow at the very end. Try to, try to dash and get a blade. Looking for the man who has not received it. I don't know what it was the win to that set. I don't know if that was intended or not. Uh, the far stunned out of Barrage. There's some Pepto. It sounded like. But, uh, still alive. Still, still coming to Shadow Edge is hungry. Uh, trying to get that kill there at the very end. And sure enough, I uh, able to hold there at the very end uh, using the mana boost, using the Dragon Blade. I mean, that's what you have to do, but, uh, but not a bad fight as far as that goes. Question will be, um, just like last map, can they hold for the next 4 minutes and 8 seconds? Um, that, that'll be the question. <laughs> um, with the ultimates they got, they use, like I said, they use several of those other ones. Um, although, granted, there's um, not a lot um, coming against them either from SNA. Careful, um, the and the flash thing there as far as that goes. But uh, it's a question of who's going to engage and win. As uh, so she's like four hours of the upstairs window. Focusing on the, the uh, West Wind, we took it. That'll be a great start. And the, uh, get out of the way if I can see this. It's going down. That's uh, a soft strike. Just to sort of push it very briefly, but uh, then it's actually going to be back diving over the point. Uh, so the safe there. And a rapid charge is not able to get any kills, but uh, I don't know if he was looking for a target with specific characters right Rhino. Uh, but regardless, the Nano Chaser. Uh, I don't know what the deal was with that exactly. Uh, but you know, the payload, oh, <laughs> the payload um, may have just been pushed in there a little bit by the Luke here, but uh, Butler's a little bit too smart to catch that. I'm too smart to not catch that, I should say. Uh, I, and then Ana is going to be caught out of position. Uh, you hate to see it. Uh, as a support player, just generally. Uh, even if you're a Bulldog fan. <laughs> Again, you can hear the, the ominous music playing in the background because of uh, the SSN is so close uh, to the end of the map, but still haven't quite made it. Uh, keep being with up by W Nifty, which is great. Uh, they've got the Dragon Blade again, they've got the Tactical Visor coming out of the I don't know, uh, <laughs> you know what the combination is going to be, but it's going to hit hard, and as soon as they jump out here, it's going to hit fast. 
down by the focus fire from the and now it's going to be the, the, the whole team at the very end. Again, all they need is to push it in. Or the, the, the one for the half years away, the attack fight that comes out from the trench, how much is he able to do with the, the defense matrix and the sound area is really hard to get much meaningful damage in. And as they're just now stalling here on the point from Butler, trying to get as close as they can, as long as they can, Shadow Edge on the Tracer. Will be killed and that'll be the end of the map. One minute and 32 seconds of the time deck for SNHU. Um, and three points as uh, <laughs> the hamster, poor hamster, blown to bits uh, right in his face. And so we switch again. Same deal. Baller will be on the attack at this point. Uh, trying to match that time bank. Uh, hopefully get it even bigger. Um, <laughs> I talked about carnage through the streets of Nimbani last round. Um, definitely uh, no different now as far as that goes. But uh, <laughs> if we take a take a broader picture, um, Butler uh, can hopefully manage to pull out a similar kind of hold to the one we just saw, honestly, from uh, from against Aquinas College. I would not be disappointed at all with that kind of hold because um, uh, it was a really nice time bank. Um, but then the question is. Um, you, you gotta complete. Uh, right, you gotta complete this round the first time, and then you gotta complete out the map. Because um, otherwise, the best you're looking at is a draw, and uh, uh, you can't take the draw at this point. Uh, but we just gotta look for for the wins here on the map. Uh, looks like Anna's ready for a vacation. Oops. <laughs> it's a point. <laughs> We're having a round. It's still the game. It's still the wins. It's still the diva. We got the Ash this time. That's going to be interesting. Trying to you know, potentially anticipate the far, uh, which it looks like we're not going to see. But we do have the Echo from Pepto and the Torbjorn. This is just. Gonna be, I think they're they're trying to like outplay each other. I think or something. The Torbjorn, um, you know, in, in anticipation of a of a flying character potentially or a, a, a tracer or a Genji. Um, yeah, I suppose, I suppose the Genji is probably the intent there from this build run. Uh, but in the meantime, Twint is just really having success in this ad. Watch him for a while uh, up here on the top. Um, he's trying to you know, break open something. Oh, a couple quick taps on the Echo. That's the way to do it. Uh, again, just trying to trying to break away clear for the rest of his team. Uh, hopefully that Ana misses the, misses the nade, but so uh, did Twint miss the dynamite. So, you know. Turned about fair play as Butler is able to cap this point. As a couple kicks. Again, double tap here on the Mercy of Defense to be a sub for it. Uh, and it was definitely some, some contesting, but uh, overall, Butler able to take this point uh, pretty convincingly. They're on basically their first attack. Well, not quite their first attack, but basically their first attack, I think. Uh, that's exactly what you want to see as the payload begins to move. Again, taking a page from Doom Twist book. Uh, he said the best defense is a good offense. So we're pushing uh, really far ahead, trying to get as much as much um, progress as we can right initially. In terms of map space and all this kind of thing, uh, <laughs> you know, Trent is really just looking out for that echo. I think that's the right play. So that he's one of the, the few heroes in Butler's. Uh, uh, one of only a couple of heroes in Butler's lineup that could probably deal with it. But, uh, Winston. Yeah, but we got it. Several more Winston, Winston's on the field as far as that goes. Uh, hasn't quite popped the front yet, so that's both Japanese yet either. There goes the echo. And there comes the Molten Core from Torbjorn. Um, not super amazingly contributing distortion. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. But uh, nevertheless, it, it does uh, hold things for a moment. Payload continues to move, but uh, uh, Trent's pretty, pretty basically being ignored by the rest of these, these uh, players and that's what they do. The fight continues, several kills there, uh, but again, going back and forth, and Butler, despite being down at least a player or so, uh, he's just been pressing through the whole time. It's, it's impressive 
one of the Trip Attack on Big Nate, where we're so slightly shield almost goes down, there's the grab. Unfortunately, just a little bit too late for the uh, uh, rally, but it doesn't even matter. <laughs> really nice uh, uh, nade coming through to protect them. Uh, that's the self destruct kill. And this should be the second point uh, so they're able to melt down, this, melt down the Wrecking Ball, melt down the Mercy. Um, and that should be the second point. It captures the Belt University. Four minutes, 45 seconds to finish the map. Um, again, ideally with a larger time bank than SNHU. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we've got the Mana Blade combo coming up. Again, I would not be surprised at all to try to see this uh, use in the next fight to try to round things off. Where am I trying to look at? There we go. I'm trying to look at the Echo. Uh, but there's the blade. Here we go. <laughs> coming in with the flashes. Uh, this has definitely got to be uh, exactly what Bubba's been just saying. <laughs> Quick kill on the Ana. Despite getting purple, that's it. That's <laughs> the. Yeah, that's just good. Good to kill the opponent. That's how that works. Um, you kill the opponent, you do well, uh, you're on fire, and now you're just stuffing them at the spawn. <laughs> this is what's happening here. You're pressing getting ready to top the primal rage. They won't you won't even let that point. Unfortunately, somebody has made it through. So things get a little bit more complicated. Bob goes in. I wonder if I expect it Bob's two of you. I really want to know. I'm gonna try it. I cannot. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but <laughs> the Nana Reinhardt's come through. Depression's still trying to do what he can, but he's got to get out of the way of all of this impressive firepower before the second push. Almost took down the soldier of Sunny Six, but it would not be. Uh, I think what was planned now is to get out. I think they okay, may want that rally back um, <laughs> when the next push comes. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the, the important thing now is to get out with our life, but hopefully it's not successful. So. Again, very, very close here. They've still got uh, more than a minute and a half more than uh, SNHU time bag. So finishing on this next push will be excellent. The question will be what, um, you know, with what tools they'll be able to accomplish it. Uh, how are they going to counter this tactical uh, uh, bite from Kresnik? Uh, how are they going to get in in the first place? You know, that's, that's, uh, these are all important questions uh, when it comes time to uh, uh, run into that. Immediately melts it down, and that's the cue for Trezik to start, uh, you know, hitting on the uh, the squishies, as they say, uh, with the result and not really able to find much. So, you know, uh, they, they probably take that as, as far as uh, you know, wasted time, but um, uh, Trent try, try is just escaping with his life. As we get in, we've got the blade, and it's the blade. <laughs> we can't. We gotta watch every single shadow with the blade. It's just that's just how it's gotta be. <laughs> And this, is, this is really good. Um, it's just good stuff. Uh, it's just a tracer now holding off this uh, payload, and now is when you gotta. That was when you gotta really be aggressive. If you're about the university, you gotta melt them down one by one as they come. The Reinhardt comes out. The Diva comes out. The uh, uh, the little subject I feel with the Nano Diva. You love to see it. You love to see the Nano Diva Diva releases here as well. That's going to be the Butler self-destruct. Unfortunately, not able to find any kills. Um, and that Butler's just a numerical advantage again. <laughs> Actually, Bob intercepting the charge from Reinhardt. Unfortunately, didn't save anybody, but it would have been cool if he did. Um, <laughs> that's that's a, uh, SNHP a SNHP Earth Shadow that's going to put a halt to this stop, or to this push at least for now. Uh, again, technically still time here. Butler can definitely feel comfortable. Um, the the time make isn't, you know, uh, you want to try to have a comparable time bank, but um, feeling that this isn't really going to be uh, too much of a concern if Butler's able to, um, again, use the next about 70 seconds to, to try to complete this out. Um, finish this map on a strong suit. Um, we'll see how it goes. So doing the jump. He's got the nano. Nano wins and it's happening. Dive in and trying to get the soldier to the right away, but he gets uh, the dive made from, from Liana. That's going to be difficult, but no, no less difficult than the, than the primal rage here from, from depression. Issues being caused. The nano ran hard to be defeated. Nothing down there. Earth Shatter comes through regardless, and actually that's going to be. Uh, that's going to be an issue for Bravo. <laughs> uh, uh, Tactical Magic comes out of the Earth Shatter uh, from the Nando right there. That's uh, always going to be fun stuff. So we have the swaps to the Soul Heroes now. Uh, we have the swaps to the Soul Heroes. We've got 30 seconds to touch the point here. Uh, this is going to be a, a fight of desperation here for Brother University. Uh, more than a, a fight of, you know, uh, 
um, planning and ultimates and that kind of thing. That kind of goes out the window when you're in this situation. Uh, but maybe the defense is able to do something. It's got a lot of hit potential. Uh, to be able to get somebody close up against the wall. Um, but that's not what we're looking at. The blade may come out. Uh, just taking that any second. Uh, somebody can touch. And there it is. <laughs> Uh, certainly right into the sound barrier, uh, just some unfortunate timing there, not able to get very many uh, kills there with it, and the pressure falls to the self destruct um, as SNH is trying to clear this point, uh, he successfully it seems, uh, Shadow is one of the few left alive, but uh, that won't be for very long, as he and Trent both fall, uh, actually no, sorry, I was still there, <laughs> just between Nano and everything, uh, seeing how long he can stay alive, but uh, that answer is only a few uh, seconds until overtime burns down. SNHU takes the map three to two, and we'll go up two to zero in the series. really I'm surprised we haven't seen any more of these Shadow Edge Blades come up uh, in the play of the game I think that's one of the highlights we've seen so far um, you can tell I have been casting a while nevertheless we've got one more map for you tonight uh, as we head into uh, Watchpoint Gibraltar uh, for our third and final map uh, just because I like this graphic so much we'll put this up again you can see it it's Gibraltar it's right here on the right <laughs> um, the, the, I anticipate honestly we're going to see very similar things to what we have um, uh, both earlier in the series and um, in the, the Aquatic series too in terms of compositions uh, in terms of the kind of interactions that we're going to be investigating um, or maybe not investigating is the right word but um, we're going to be we're going to be seeing a lot of them I think in this coming series uh, when it comes to the Winston when it comes to the long range um, uh, long range hitch cans potentially um, and I'll be interested to see how this, you know, comp composition ends up evolving um, as we jump in and out of the series. A uh, couple swaps looks like um, again on the side of SNHU before we get completely started. Um, but then after t after that time, we'll jump right in the game um, and close out the night um, uh, with another solid map. And it looks like we are uh, jumping now into Watchpoint Gibraltar. Uh, that's going to be good stuff. We've got one more round. It's going to be a great one. Uh, hopefully some of the uh, audio issues are resolved a little bit. Uh, hopefully, you'll, hopefully you'll be able to hear me just a little bit better <laughs> as we dive into map three. Um, it's going to be another big one. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, this is the last map of the NHCC preseason here for the Butler University Overwatch Blue team. Uh, so I definitely want to leave a good impression on the community. Uh, we, you know, play it out for the fans and whatever. Uh, <laughs> I think it's, it's definitely going to be uh, definitely going to be a memorable night tonight. Uh, as we see again, the Winston Zarya, the double bubble. Um, that's how <laughs> the community refers to it. Um, and that's going to be Butler's linchpin as we move, um, be, you know, into this first attack. I think, um, as we see it on the other side as well, with um, 
uh, as an issue composition. I think that's uh, definitely going to be the, the main narrative here. As we are just waiting to get things get kicked off. Butters is deep in thought. But not too deep. Here we go. <laughs> uh, the teleport around. Interesting strategy. Trying to avoid that um, uh, initial open spot out here to teleport into the corner, but at the same time, you don't have tons of payload access either. Uh, we see the Widowmaker again. The Widowmaker falls pretty quickly uh, from the Focus Fire Belt University. Um, and they're on the back foot. Um, our SNHU uh, with Depression's Dive, unfortunately, not able to come up with much um, other than feeding his Zarya some ultimate charge, but sometimes that's all you need, you know? Uh, we got a twin sort of in the in the tracer duel, uh, which is going to be interesting to check out. I think uh, once that time has arrived, uh, but there there are more important things to look at, such as uh, <laughs> the fight over the payload, which is still raging here above, uh, as it is sneaking into the uh, underpass here as we speak. Um, each team trying to find a definitive advantage, which they haven't really yet very much. Uh, there's the tracer battle down here. Uh, these are always fun to watch. You like you like to watch the tracer battles, uh, not when they blink into the payload, but you know it happens. Uh, yeah, that's that's clearing that up a little bit, forcing out the recall. And the tracer shouldn't be long for this world. I would be my guess. There it is. But <laughs> that's just one kill. Uh, tracing back and forth. Um, the yeah, Butler so far held him. Uh, another kill from Shadow Edge on the Genji. That's going to be, uh, again, one more step towards that uh, towards that goal for sure. Uh, we have the Nano Blade. Uh, again, I call that every time, but only because it's super helpful. Uh, <laughs> it's been working super well for us. And here it comes again. That's going to be the honor. Quickly taken out a couple slashes and a dash. Uh, and maybe the Zarya following? We'll see. There's yeah, a couple couple quicker kills there. Uh, able to take the Zarya out, but uh, uh, the question you know, the question remains, uh, you know, what's Butler able to do? Uh, and it looks like the question may well be, hold on well enough, which is about all you need as the uh, Primal Rage comes out from Depression. And in fact, it looks like dueling Primal Rages uh, from either side as Depression trying to come out with his life. Unfortunately, melted down just a little bit. Um, the raid boss smacks him with a flail. And now it's Butler trying to touch here back in the corner uh, before before uh, the cart is able to finish point A. Uh, Zui Mama dropping just for the sake of a little bit of a presence there. Depression joins and it's not too late. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, the, the, the uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. There's, re there's reinforcements coming. <laughs> so the, the fight is still very much going um, back and forth and back and forth. Unfortunately, the loss of the Winston, that's going to be significant. Um, and it looks like that's going to be point eight. There, four ants on each picks up another minute and a half, or uh, two and a half minutes, I should say. And the solo, or the double grab, I suppose, but a really aggressive grab uh, <laughs> of, uh, from Dark and Dargo, um, just from the, the spawning Belgium University players. I mean, um, that's how you do it. I guess it looks like there's going to be a swap anyway. So. Um, it makes it a little bit less surprising as far as that goes. Oh no! Like <laughs> I could just barely make it in um, before the door closes. Uh, there's definitely a big fight going on here with the Echo. I was all the way up in the skybox trying to <laughs> take some space for your team, uh, but it's going to be the dive with the Winston slept all the way back in the back. That's exactly what you want to see, uh, just for the sake of wasting that ultimate. Uh, it may not have built up the Primal Rage uh, until much later, as she now has. Uh, and <laughs> not tons of uh, not tons of uh, help there. Uh, so, uh, but in the meantime, the payload continues to move. There's the blue grab coming out for Bubble University, uh, able to hold them off just a little bit. Um, but <laughs> there's the poor baby diva uh, hanging out here and trying not to get staggered. But of course, she will get staggered um, <laughs> as the the fight just tries to slow down. Uh, a little bit, but was trying to stabilize the cart um, just a little bit. <laughs> As we can breathe now, we can look at uh, look at the ultimates again. Um, 
It seems like Shadowage always has the Nano Blade up, and maybe that's just when I'm when I'm doing my ultimate survey. I don't know, but I think that's that's a testament to his Genji play, um, as well as the support that he gets from his teammates. Um, thinking about Blurs and Cash on the support. Uh, really helping him stay alive and build that ultimate. As uh, there is Brig on top, nobody can resist the, the the rallying Brig on top of the spaceship. That's the space you're not going to be able to give up. As depression goes deep with the primal rage, uh, <laughs> it goes deep with the primal rage. Not not very many kills, but uh, able to enable his team uh, definitely for some of the rest, including uh, a really nice. Um, the, 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 the dash reset thing for Shadow Edge. I know what I'm saying. It's all good. And uh, more importantly, Butler knows what they're doing as they're here defending pretty well on point B. Um, uh, taking their defensive advantage and really um, really using it. They've, they've wasted uh, more than two and a half minutes of, uh, of uh, SMHU's time already as the Dragon Blade comes out. We got the one kill on the Winston um, as the, the Nano Boost expires as well. Uh, but, you know, if it'll cost them that kind of time when you've got 40 seconds, I mean, when you've got 40 seconds, that's practically all the time you need sometimes. So, you know, we'll take it as far as that goes. Uh, unfortunately, Trent dies with the, um, with the high noon, that's unfortunate. Uh, but the fight is definitely not lost yet as the payload moves. Uh, 20 seconds to go. Somebody's got to touch to so make sure that they are touching. And it looks like it's going to be the break here primarily. Um... Uh, as long as she can hold it, or as long as she can hold it on. There's Trent coming out with the high noon. I will flashbang, flashbang the brig, but not uh, able to secure the kill, unfortunately. And now things get much more interesting here at the fight for the end of point two. <laughs> it's gonna be big. There's the, the prime rage just slept and immediately woken up uh, by butters uh, as Twitch swaps to the doomfist just for the sake of touching the point. Uh, it's really a, a big. It's a big nade. It's a big nade from butters. Uh, and unfortunately, the uh, the quick. Uh, Self-destruct able to needs to urge Butler off point just for a brief second, um, but uh, <laughs> the fight continues. Uh, Trent can't quite find a target with the Doomfist. Um, as the, uh, there's another blade coming through from Shadow. It's the Nano Blade built up just in that time, uh, and that's exactly the kind of defensive hold that you need. That was super <laughs> impressive. I cannot overstate the effect that this hero has had in this series. Um, and Butler's able to hold right before point B. Um, right before point B, and there, here is the win condition uh, for Velvet University, potentially their first map of the night. Um, all they need to do is capture point B, um, and they will be successful. Um, yeah, it's, like, it's very clear. Here's the, well, here in uh, 17 seconds, there will be a little golden box of victory. Um, the, <laughs> the result is... Um, Definitely doable for Butler. I think we, we've seen as much, um, well, I was going to say we've seen as much in this series, or in this uh, set of matches tonight, but I guess we haven't technically. But I think it's very doable for Butler. <laughs> um, as they're able to, to pull out what they do best, looks like we may see some of the Widow. Who knows if that's going to stay or not. Uh, looks like maybe um, still trying to evaluate that just a little bit. Um, but uh, it may even be the sneaky sort of side window. We'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. Also, a dance party. I'm really interested to see what this Widowmaker is able to do with her perch and what she's able to see. And I think. Potentially, no. Oh, Trent is too. Yeah, I mean that's 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 a great opening, <laughs> not an opening pick, but an opening you know body shot. That's uh, you know proof that uh, it's not going to be a bad choice. I think to hang around on this little maker at least for the time being. The Genjis are fighting. The Winstons are fighting. It's a whole big thing. But unfortunately, Rhino gets the uh, short end of the stick. I think that's exactly the opening Butler is looking for. And despite a p despite a pick from the Echo, they're really able to clean this stuff up. <laughs> Genji just going nuts up here on the top. On is in trouble from BSOE, and that is going to be a really decisive first first round re first point fight. Uh, granted, it's not done yet. We're probably going to run into him again, but. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> that's exactly the kind of fight you want to see um, if Butler has uh, a chance of picking out this map there at the very end of the day. Uh, Shadow Edge, you know, uh, close close to the Nano Blade or close to the Dragon Blade, I should say. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll end up pulling it out to try to finish up this map, but finish up this fight. But honestly, it's not even necessary. Trent was couple different picks uh, there from way back in the back, um, and that's just going to be it. They're not going to contest uh, any further because it's hard to contest when your teammates are dead. Uh, as the uh, as the uh, sights continues, uh, <laughs> Trent is just going to go nuts uh, as long as he can while he can see through walls. Um, and then it's back to business for this payload. Payload's moving thanks to Zarya. Uh, we still are looking at the Dragon Blade. I think that may be the key to this fight. By the time we get to the end of the map, we will see, though. Uh, and the Silent Tempest go over, going over the wood of his own trying to match uh, some of the fun that we are looking at here is depression goes deep with the primal rage uh, <laughs> we'll have to see how successful that ends up being but at the same time the the, the payload is so close nanoblade is happening or nanoblade is, is is here i should say but unfortunately um there it is who, who gets to the nano who got the nano did they just die immediately i don't know i don't know who got the butler nano i'm not paying attention i'm just observing but it's fine uh <laughs> it looks like butler may actually well, I don't know. I'm gonna say it looks like Butler may let this one go. Um, and I think they will, in in favor of taking a better fight uh, here in a, a minute or so. Uh, but they have the luxury of doing that because they've got just less than four minutes to try to push just, um, you know, like ten meters. Uh, that's super doable, uh, and particularly with the kind of resources we're looking at. We're looking at the grab. We're looking at the rally. Um, uh, and a couple tank ults there on the side of SNA2 as well, but I don't anticipate that to be super difficult uh, to overcome, but, you know, provided we, <laughs> um, you know, Butler's able to keep their head on the shoulders as far as that goes. Um, and that's, that is definitely, uh, no kills there for the self-destruct, so that's a good way to be as we trade out the Anas. Um, uh, and unfortunately, that's, <laughs> that's King going in with no, uh, support whatever for his team, or no support heroes, I should say. Um, you hate to see it, and unfortunately, uh, one of his uh, rare naked blades uh, that isn't able to do much. Um, but again, still three minutes of the time make. Uh, I, I definitely wouldn't write out much of this, unfortunately. Um, uh, Genji gets his head taken off. You hate to see it. <laughs> like I said, I wouldn't write this push off at all at this point. Uh, you've got plenty of time. Um, this will make it more difficult though. Uh, Silent Tempest is looking around um, at whatever coverage he may or may not have. <laughs> Depression really working hard to protect his head hitbox. Uh, and uh, Silent Tempest knows it. Um, that's exactly the kind of thing you want to see. But now that the Wallhacks have run out, um, that is uh, when Butler, I think, has a much better chance to, to do something here. Looks like they're trying to gather together, uh, make sure they know what's going on before they engage. Um, and if we're not careful, uh, maybe a little poison Genji. We will see. Uh, but there's the dive coming in from Depression. He's jumping all the way up to the top. He's got the Primal Rage. Uh, we'll not use it at this point. Uh, we'll, just, we'll wait for a second jump cycle, I'm sure. Uh, while he builds up his Primal Rage armor. Or, or while he builds up his Rally armor. Excuse me. Uh, meanwhile, the pill is still moving. So you know, we'll take it. Uh, just the Rally used from the Traffic Cache at this point. Um, and, and no kills at this point. But the time is coming. The time is absolutely coming. There's the grab. There's the grab. It is down here. <laughs> Don't to grab the nano monkey. Not a bad idea at all. Uh, usually those are pretty dangerous. And there, unfortunately, he had uh, a little bit of reinforcements there. As we see the uh, primal rage come through. Slept at the very end, but unfortunately that's about all you can do as far as that goes. Uh, Rhino uh, <laughs> with the, the primal rage play is still... Um, Still not quite capped here at the end of point B. Uh, again, this is as far as Butler needs to go. Uh, yes, we saw that. It's okay. Uh, still as far as Butler needs to go here. It's just this very end of the map. But it's going to take a nice fight win um, that they haven't quite been able to find yet. Um, the engagement comes to them. Rhino drops very low and actually does fall there. Uh, but unfortunately, still there's Butler to the self destruct. That's going to be an issue as the rally comes out from SNHU as well, um, but they're just trading back and forth so far. It, the question will be if uh, anybody's able to deal with Silent Tempest in the background 
uh, on the Widowmaker. That's gonna be that's gonna be a significant issue for sure. Um, I anticipate. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. What I anticipate. Uh, but unfortunately, that's the loss of the Dragon Blade. That's gonna be significant. Uh, I think that's uh, one of the one of the best options that we had there uh, for that push. And now is gonna be aggressive because they have the they have the chance to. Um, the, despite despite how close they are to losing, they're just as close to winning at this point. Less than 10 seconds, and who can touch? Uh, Depression's gonna try to jump for it here in the last three seconds, and he will at least touch the point to keep that alive. But uh, the question remains: How this is gonna go? Here comes the Dragon Blade. It's gotta be big. It finds runs into a couple tanks. Rhino will fall, as will be so easy. <laughs> um, those are great starts. Uh, the brakes going low. Break, the brake falls as well. And that's actually going to be nearly the team wipe. Now they're just diving for the widow, who will not be long for this world. That's the team wipe, um, and not official, but just as good enough as Butler <laughs> will actually pull out there at the end of point B. They're going to take the win. Uh, they're going to take the uh, map. Uh, finish out this series two to one. Um, and here's the Genji blade that we've all been waiting for all evening. Solid 4K for Shadow Edge right at the end. Seals the map for Butler University. And we go to a 2-1 to one series. That's going to be the end. Unfortunately, still picking up the loss. Um, to the SNHU pen then, but um, not a bad way to go. <laughs> not a bad way to end the night. Um, this was a really good series. Um, I'm glad that I could cast it. I'm definitely going to be back uh, here for uh, future weeks in the NECC season. Um, uh, not this coming week, um, but we'll catch you in the regular season. Uh, again, we get a fresh slate next week. Uh, Frustrated of opponents. Uh, fresh record. It's going to be a good year. Um, I don't have a sign off, but <laughs> we're done. Uh, we have a good night. Uh, we'll catch you next week.